Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the time has finally come. What's going on, guys? And welcome to Modern Warfare 3 Season 4. If you guys missed yesterday's video, I went over the entire battle pass. We played on the new maps, and we also used the brand new Car 98K. But today, we're not really using a new weapon. I just have a separate mission, a quest, if you will. Within Season 4, they actually added a brand new weapon prestige camo. We obviously have the first one, one trick, but now we have Molten Obsidian. It's animated. It looks Looks honestly really really sick but you know there's a lot to go into this so if you guys even want to unlock the obsidian camo on one single weapon you have to first go through one trick which is earn 150,000 weapon xp once you unlock one trick then for obsidian you need to unlock another 200,000 weapon xp you will need to get 350,000 xp and that's just on one weapon. I'm pretty curious though, if you guys are gonna go ahead and unlock obsidian for a weapon, go down below and drop a like on the video. And let me know in the comments, is this camo even worth it? I'm not gonna lie, man, I am such a huge fan of one trick. Listen, obsidian might take the cake with this one. We'll have to wait and see. I think I'm like 12,000 XP away from unlocking the obsidian camo. I was trying to find ways of like, what's gonna be like the best method in terms of getting XP fast. And it's probably just gonna be grinding multiplayer. Obviously was a really good method, but my friend Brad actually told me that they actually like cap you and cap the limit of how much XP you can actually gain in zombies, which I had no idea about. Essentially, after like a while in zombies, you just won't be getting the same amount of XP that you were getting, which is a little insane to be honest. Oh, what the what did he just kill me with? But yeah, at that point, it's basically just grinding in multiplayer. Literally just grinding kills over and over again with whichever weapon you are working with. And why am I just getting knifed? Really not sure what's going on here. Don't like the vibes. Friendly mosquito deployed. I mean, do, am I just not having a good game? Brother, I, I'm not going to do this today. Eyes up. Dude, I am, we're getting triple caps. I, I don't know. Not doing it. You ever just in a match and nothing seems to be going your way? Look left, but there's an enemy right. That's what I'm doing. I will say I love the change of the kill streaks and score streaks in Modern Warfare 3 Season 4. You can actually now loop them, which is like, okay, that that scared me. You can actually now loop kill streaks and score streaks in this game, which is something we've been asking for for so long. Actually, though, before Season 4, you can only get one set of streaks per life. So if you hit like maybe your final streak, your third streak, which was maybe an advanced UAV or something, you couldn't get another advanced UAV in that same life. You literally had to die die to get another advanced UAV, which was just really stupid. And obviously now they have the DNA bomb, which is 25 kills. It's going to make going for, you know, DNA bombs and nukes and everything a lot more easier and fun. Also, if you guys see in the corner, now the advanced UAV has like this like blue mark instead of white. I believe also now with season four, your kill streaks now go towards your score or your kills for your next streak, which is actually insane. I'm getting shot at. Oh, hello. Hello. Okay. 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 Hold on. Wait, is that a guy? Oh, what the? What is going on right now? I'm so confused. At the advanced UAV, so let's pop that. Oh, they are all spawning behind us. Wow, they're all over here. Thank you. Thank you. They're trying to shoot down my streaks. Thank you. I gotta reload. Is there a guy here? Got him. There's another guy here, I'm pretty sure. Wait, I see him. Hello? Hello? Dude, that head glitch is crazy. Oh, give me back my gun. No. No, no, no. Oh my God. What is going on? What? No. So these people will not get off these freaking head glitches in here. Yeah, season four has honestly been a blast. I'm really loving this map, Paris, but also Tokyo is just a really fun map. For more on the medium and large size scale, which I prefer more smaller map, to be honest with you, they actually play so well. And I can't really even tell sometimes that these are larger maps. They're all like three lane style. They have really, really good flow. A lot of good points of action. To be honest with you, Sledgehammer just killed it with these maps, dude. And I feel like all of like the post game maps and content has just been on point got another advance it feels so good to get multiple advanced uavs i actually forget if something pops up when you get one of the weapon prestige camos i don't know if it's just nothing and you have to just check after the game but we could potentially have already unlocked the camo we could have already unlocked molten obsidian 
Oh my god, I'm dead. That's the game. I don't know if we unlocked it. Okay, so if we head over to Weapon Prestige, yes, we actually unlocked it. I gotta say, man, it is so cool that they brought this camo back and it's completely free. Genuinely, I was a little scared they would bring back the obsidian camo and like charge money for it or put it behind a bundle. They've actually done that with gold camo, Damascus camo. They've done it for multiple camos in the past. 350,000 XP across the board is definitely a lot. And also, we have two Two more classified weapon prestige camos coming in season five and season six. So this is going to be such a massive grind. By the time the fourth camo comes out and you're working on a fresh new weapon, you literally might have to unlock like 500,000 XP, maybe even more. All right, fellas, we have the molten obsidian camo and I'm playing cranked. So, um... Yep, the timer already starts. Yeah, this is Molten Obsidian. It's literally just the Obsidian camo from Modern Warfare 2019, but it's completely animated this time. I don't know what else uh, you would have expected because, well, it's the same exact camo. <laughs> so this is hyper cranked and... Hey, happy, happy. I understand you want to sweat today. Trust me, I understand. Thank you. Finally have a kill. These guys have an Overwatch helo. I'm getting destroyed. Oh my God, happy. Chill out on me, dude. Overall, I think it is really cool that they brought back the Obsidian camo. And especially because they brought it back, not in a bundle, but just a camo that you can earn for free. And there's no like downside to actually getting this camo. And if you use like one weapon consistently for a very, very long time, odds are you'll probably just get one trick and obsidian already i do love these weapon prestige camos i think they were a great great idea just more camos more things to grind for hostile chopper gunner went like wh who am i versing what the fuck hello thank you got a uav nope don't kill me. stop it people are throwing so many things at me i don't like this i have a freaking helo you guys are all like right here dude Come on, I got the advance. Oh my gosh, I got the advance. Oh, we got so many people coming from back here. Come on, come on. No, someone behind me. No, I'm so dead. I'm literally so dead. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I literally, I can't see, I can't see. They're all down here. Come on, come on, I'm on a 14. Oh my God, I started turning up out of nowhere. <gasps> teammate, teammate, you have to look this way. Teammate, oh my gosh, don't shoot yet, don't shoot yet. We're just gonna be patient, we're gonna be patient, we're gonna be patient. Come on, we're gonna be patient. And the patience killed me. I just love how fast you move because everyone gets like a movement increase basically. But the, the clock, the timer, it, it makes me so stressed. I love it because of just like the fast paced gameplay and everything like that. But oh my God, if you are running out of time, it is the most stressful thing. We have another advanced UAV. We're gonna kill this guy. That's so many people down here. I'm just gonna look down, look down, get a kill, get a kill. We're good, we're good. There's someone behind me, I think. This guy happy, he, he's gonna be signed to Optic really soon. Just wanna try and win at this point, man, because these guys are sweating so much. They keep getting like chopper gunners, overwatch helos, bruh. This guy happy, he, he's gonna be signed to Optic. I'm literally versing the next scum. I have another advanced UAV. There's like 80 people coming through right now. There's a guy spawning literally on me. This guy down here, happy. Yup, there you go. So close to winning this game. Come on, we gotta win. We have to win. This guy behind me. What? Where did you come from? We have another UAV. We have another helo as well. This guy literally right here. Happy. Let's go. Another advanced UAV. And we have an Overwatch helo. We got to use it. We can't. There's no space in the sky. No. Are you serious? Why are you doing this? Why are you? Why is everyone doing this? What the fuck? And we won. Oh, happy. Uh, GG's, bro. He said GG's. <laughs> <laughs> now, also, I don't know if you guys saw this, but yesterday with the season four update, the leakers and data miners were able to go into the files of MW3. They found a lot of things relating to Black Ops 6. We were able to find like the standard and vault editions that you could pre-order for the game. And the vault edition just looked insane. They showed skins for like Frank Woods and uh, all these different cosmetics for weapons. And they all look absolutely insane. I'll show a picture on the screen if I can get a chance, like literally right now. Yeah, overall, I'm so excited for Black Ops 6. If the skins look this crazy and the game's not even out yet, I can't imagine what we're going to be getting later on throughout the life cycle of the game. Got the advance.
Oh wait! I got the DNA bomb? Wait, when did when did I get the DNA bomb? I'm, <laughs> I'm actually so confused. I thought I was only on like a 23 or 24, but wait, does the Overwatch Shilo also count towards the DNA bomb now? I guess I could just call in the DNA bomb because it just doesn't end the game. And uh, yeah, there it is. I see it. <laughs> Yo, that is still so cool, man. But anyways, guys, that's enough MW3 for me today. Let me know in the comments if you guys think Molten Obsidian is worth all of this weapon X. XP. In my opinion, I think it's really cool that they brought back the camo. It's completely free. You just have to grind for it. And to be honest with you, it's nice to have things to grind for. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.